Welcome to this edition of the Rural Report for March 2023. Before we get started, I'd like to say if you're new to the channel, welcome. This channel is growing exponentially, uh, much faster than I thought it would. We are one week in and we are getting close to 200 subscribers. So again, thank you for watching and we look forward to growing this channel together. Uh, if there's anything that you would like to see in the future for future content, please just drop it in the comments or reach out to me. But today we are going to learn how to do char cloth. And everything you see on the table is what we're going to use today. And so the first thing that we're going to do is everybody uses on all the YouTube channels and everywhere that you look, the little candy tin and that's how they make their char cloth. And I decided that what happens if you don't have one of those little candy tins? So, and just about everybody in their bag has aluminum foil. So I figured we would try and do this out of aluminum foil and see if it works. This is a pre-cut piece of aluminum foil. And what we're going to do is rip down this little pre-done line until we come out something like this to be a square. We'll save this for a little bit later. And then what I found is that a pack of cigarettes, which I have covered this up because I am not going to advertise brands for cigarettes. Um, but I figured that there's enough people out there that smoke, or if they don't smoke, we'll use something like this as a bartering item or find something very similar to this, whether it be, you know, a couple of packs of gum or whatnot, but some sort of shape. It does not have to be square. It can be round. Um, just find something so that way we can get a shape. And what I have found is I place it in the middle and I find a so I can start and I fold it there I place it back in my middle I put it here take it back out and that gives me some of my stability and then I will put it back in we will place it back up to get some of our lines so we can start building a box for our char cloth and then I'm going to I'll put it this way. Maybe you can see do something kind of like this, like maybe you're wrapping a Christmas or birthday present or something along those lines and just getting it to where we can kind of create that basic shape of getting something for our tar cloth to be in. And so once we get something similar to that, and remember, this is not about trying to make things look pretty or perfect. This is about survival. So if you're out, you didn't have any char cloth or anything like that, and you needed to make some, this is one of the things that you could possibly do. We're going to try this out together and see. So that's in there. This piece that we set off the side. We're basically going to kind of do the same thing so that way we can make a little lid for it and all I do is just do something to kind of give it a basic shape because all this is meant to do is just be a lid and then 
once we got that in there, we will take our top off and be careful that you're not going to rip anything. And you can do any little minor adjustments or whatnot that you need to do. We'll stick that over here. We're going to slide out our box so that way we have a place for our tar cloth. And then, give me one moment, we're going to grab our cotton, which all it needs to be is just some material that is 100% cotton. I have chosen a white t-shirt and all you're going to do, because I have used this as rags before, so this is actually going to work out very nice, is you're just going to cut small little strips and you're going to cut out a couple of them for this video. We're probably going to do about five or so and then We'll put them inside and we'll start making our char cloth. Now, if you don't know what char cloth is, it is a cotton that you put to intense heat that basically dries it out and gives it a char that takes spark very, very easy. And if this turns out the way that I'm hoping it does, because I have not done this yet, when this video concludes, we will pull it out and we will try it out together see if it works so you're going to take your bottom you're going to take your char cloth and you're just going to lay it right inside and just stack them all up so that way they're in there nice and on top of each other just like that nothing special just laying it there now you want to need somewhere for your heat to go. So I take a pen. And I put just a, I don't know if you can see that, just a tiny little hole there. And you want to take and put your lid back on, like so. Make sure everything's sealed as best as you can get it. Now, granted, this is not going to be like, you know, the little candy tin that everybody seems to use. So this isn't going to be perfect. We're going to try it the best we can. Again, you know, survival situation, you're out. Um, maybe you went camping and you forgot it. Uh, this is just to try and find an alternate way. So, we're going to use this. Now, you can build a stand out of anything because you need to get it close to the flame, but you also need air to get up underneath there and whatnot. Uh, this is actually just a really fun candle wax warmer. So, we're going to use that as a stand and then to get the flames a little closer I'm actually going to put this right here I'm going to take two of these tea lit candles which everybody should have although anybody that's even not a prepper doesn't have tea lit candles and we're going to put them right here we're going to light them and that way it'll give us two flames and it'll spread the heat out a little bit and once they're lit you're going to take this put it right over the top just like that try and get nice and even get everything right about where it needs to go and that'll start warming up now the reason why i like to make char cloth you can sit here and do this as a passive once you have something like this created you have a lot of material and the old t-shirt you can make a lot of char cloth out of one t-shirt this is a passive thing once you do this you light this you walk away you go do firewood you set snares you go fishing you you know go do whatever you need to do or want to do this will do the job itself if you can see and i don't know if you can see or not it's already started out of your little hole, there's white smoke that's going to come out. That's what you want to see. That means it is working. This is like a little timer. When this smoke stops, your char cloth is done. Now, we'll see how well this works. I've done char cloth a bunch of times uh, using a little tin candy uh, little box. And 
it's worked every single time. You should be able to see the smoke now and it's coming out nice. Give you a little backdrop maybe. So we're going to try this together. We're going to see if this works. Uh, we'll see if the tea lit candles is enough time. Usually if you can do it over a nice flame, about 10 minutes or so in one of the little candy tins is usually what it takes. Um, this isn't going to be as strong of a heat. So my guess is this is probably going to take a little longer, maybe 15, 20 minutes, maybe a little longer. Um, I'm not really expecting because this is not sealed around the edges as well as it probably could be, uh, that this is going to fully char the entire cloth, but it should get most of it. So in the meantime, let's, uh, let's wait and see what happens. And what I'll do is I'll put a little time lapse in here so you don't have to sit here and watch for the next 15, 20 minutes or however long this takes. And uh, when you come back, I will give you a little bit of an announcement. So make sure you stay tuned and uh, we'll pop this open, test it out and see if it works. everybody let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, I don't know if it's going to be enough or not the white smoke has somewhat stopped usually um, I let it sit for another couple of minutes or so just to make sure uh, right now it's been about 18 minutes so that's about that 20 minute time lapse that I thought we'd be so we're going to take this off and set that off to the side blow out our candles and then we will carefully move this over here. Uh, while that cools for just a minute, I would like to make the announcement that what we'll do is a contest giveaway. Uh, another video that should be dropping either today or tomorrow is I made a keychain. This one is going to be the wider version. Normally this is about the size of the keychain that we have made in the past and if you can see the difference on uh, this is just a wider bulkier bigger keychain uh, the same little figurines of the zombie guys but we're going to take and we're going to give this away the contest rules is going to be that you must be a subscriber you must like this video and comment on this video and we will make the announcement in one week's time on the 11th of March 2023 and I will reach out to you please try and have your email in there you will get an email from me my email is at the beginning of this video which is the royal report at protonmail.com uh, if you win we'll make that announcement in a video next week I'll reach out to you we'll get this sent to you so this should be about cooled off and I'm excited to see we're doing this together and oh there we go that is not bad now if you notice i'll pick one of these up if you see the browns and the blacks the browns right here around the edges not quite done but that is a beautiful beautiful black right there and if we look at some of the rest of them that one came out almost perfect a little browning on the bottom almost perfect Again, almost perfect. This can is awesome. Now I do see a little bit of a problem. Now that we're getting towards the bottom, you see the hole? So the flame was a little too close for as thin as this was, but that's okay. It's okay, it's a learning process. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. Perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this char cloth, we're gonna put it back in here, and we'll put that for later. Now remember, you can use this over and over and over again. This isn't as durable as the little candy tin, but as long as you are careful with this, this will last you and you can keep reusing this over. Sorry about the noise. So what we're going to do is actually, I'm going to take just a regular piece of paper 
and I'm going to tear a strip right here, set that off to the side. That should work out, we'll make this just a little smaller. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna lay this right here in the middle. I'm gonna take my char cloth, I'm gonna kind of bunch it up to a little ball to where I can get my black point really nice and up on top. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. And I'm gonna take my ferro rod and I'm going to take my knife. This is just a cheap china off of, you know, Walmart or uh, eBay or something like that. Just, you know, knife. And we're going to see if this thing takes a spark. So we're going to put this down and see if we can't get a spark to land right where we want it to land. Which this is a little, there we go. Just like that. And we're gonna wrap our paper around kind of like a little cone, just like so. And blow. And there you have it. Char cloth worked. There's fire. And so this is a great thing to take camping or, you know, survival situation or whatnot. One tiny little spark on that char cloth, up it went. And just that easy. There we go with a little strip of paper, one little piece of char cloth, ferro rod, cheap knife. We now have fire. So it obviously worked. That was great. Uh, I'd like to actually see um, anybody else's ideas on maybe how to make this, or if you would like, I'd like to maybe issue a challenge. Go ahead and uh, give this a try. Let me know how it worked out for you. If you had a success, failure, maybe you did a little better than I did. Um, but we just went through and shown that uh, it is very possible to do, and it seems to have worked out. So with that, we will end this. And just remember, stay united. We're all prepping in this together. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for your chance to be in the contest for the giveaway. And with that, we'll see you next time.